you simply can't ignore what is happening with AI right now. And it looks set to be one of the biggest bubbles in tech history, and one that is certainly going to open up a lot of opportunities for investors. So in today's video, I want to explain what is currently happening in the AI sector that is causing this rapid growth and try and translate that into crypto to spot opportunities in the market. I've got an AI crypto watch list I want to share with you today that I think is presenting some great short term trading opportunities. And I also want to break down my long term trading strategy for positioning myself within the AI sector because there are a couple subsectors of AI that I personally believe have the most potential. So if you do like this type of content, make sure to click that subscribe button down below and hit that post notification bell because I'm uploading on this channel every single day at the moment. So bringing you that daily alpha, whether that be airdrop opportunities, altcoin opportunities, trades, etc., to help you make money in this market. We have a massive opportunity this year in 2024. So let's seize it with both hands and we're going to absolutely smash it together. So looking forward to being here every single day to help you guys on this journey as well. So without further ado, let's get into what is happening in the AI market. I want to start a little bit broader and contextualize the current state of AI. So we just saw Sam Altman is now seeking trillions of dollars to reshape the business of chips and AI. So he's pursuing new active investment, trillions of dollars potentially worth of investment so he can work on AI technology. Last year, the AI sector raised $50 billion with OpenAI, Anthropic, Inflection AI raking in billions of of dollars in terms of new funding. Now, I really don't think you can underestimate the magnitude of the current funding that's being poured into the AI sector. You have Fortune 500 companies all essentially FOMOing into this narrative because none of them want to be last. You have the top tech companies like Apple, like Facebook, like Microsoft, like Amazon. They're all fighting for a slice of what is probably going to be a very big pie with the world the way that it's going. So as a result of this rampant competition, to get to the number one spot in the AI race, there are billions and billions of dollars of potentially, as we just saw, trillions of dollars worth of capital entering this space. And that's why I believe it could be one of the biggest bubbles in history. We haven't seen this amount of interest, active development, active investment into a sector in a long, long time. And because of that, I think there are massive opportunities for investors that are early. And one of the reasons why AI is one of my top crypto sectors for this bull run is because it has that retail mindshare. It has that really strong narrative, which is driving hype and speculation in the sector. And although the fundamentals are dubious for a lot of these AI coins, and that's something we'll get into more later in the video as I give you my top AI picks, you can't deny the strength of the narrative. Think back to the metaverse narrative back in 2021. A lot of the fundamentals were shaky, but it had a really strong powering trend behind Behind it. And AI in the traditional world is giving crypto that fuel at the moment for these AI coins to perform really, really well. Uh, but of course, it's not just crypto where this opportunity lies. It's also in other sectors. Personally, though, I just understand the Web3 dynamics a little bit better uh, than the traditional markets. Speaking of traditional markets, NVIDIA keeps breaking new highs and they've actually got their earnings on Wednesday. So I think good earnings could definitely send further shockwaves through the AI sector. And as a result, a lot of these coins and, and AI stocks could perform really, really well. So Wednesday is obviously a key date in terms of trading, but just generally seeing NVIDIA power higher and higher is obviously a major plus for the overall strength of the narrative. And we also saw this week, one of the other reasons why AI is back in the news, the launch of Sora by OpenAI. And if if you haven't seen this already, it's absolutely amazing. It essentially enables you, just like you would on Mid Journey, to enter an input, but instead of getting a photo on the other end, you can create a hyper realistic or an animated AI video. So, this was completely based on a prompt, as you can see in front of you. Beautiful snowy Tokyo city is bustling. The camera moves through the bustling street, following several people enjoying the beautiful snowy weather. And you can actually see this reflected in AI. It's absolutely mind blowing some of this stuff. And it honestly also scares me at the exact same time because uh, just the rapid pace of adv advancement in terms of AI technology is astounding. And that is, of course, off the back of 
incredible funding, crazy funding. Whenever you have a sector get this much concentrated funding at once, you can basically bet on the fact you're going to see results that are highly advanced versus other sectors um, because funding pretty much rules. It means you can hire more developers. It means you can have bigger and better brains behind a, a certain technology. And of course, that leads to greater outcomes for the sector in general. And with all this money pouring in, it does create this flywheel because new innovative products launch, they catch the public's attention. The more the public's attention is captured, the more people talk about AI, the more people talk about AI, the more people FOMO into AI investments and the more that sectors like crypto, which have highly liquid versions of tradable AI products uh, can perform. So it does create this flywheel where whenever there's AI news or an AI development, it does have that positive effect for the crypto sector, even though, as I said, the fundamentals may not necessarily align one to one. And this is something that we have seen over the crypto AI sector over the last couple of weeks. We can see BitTensor is really leading the run at a $14 billion valuation now, which is absolutely crazy. That's one I've spoken about on previous shows. And you can see here on Velo, it actually looks like it wants to break out and potentially go and make new highs in price discovery mode. Um, so a lot of these AI coins are now teetering with their previous all-time highs and are looking to break past those levels. We're going to get into those short-term trading opportunities in a sec. And as you can see, if you look at the top AI coins by market cap, the market cap of AI coins is now over $15 billion, according to CoinGecko. And AI has really been a market leading sector over the past few weeks. You can see returns on Ajax of 80%, Akash 30%, Fetch 38%, Render 34%, pretty much every coin up double digits, some even up triple digits, like you can see Arkham's up, um, AGI's up 146%. So a lot of these coins are really outperforming. And it's for a few reasons. One, obviously there's a lot of hype. And as I said, you've got this flywheel of news coming out, getting hype for the AI sector, which thus translates into price action as people try and speculate on the tokens. But two, it's a very easy narrative to understand. Retail loves to gravitate towards trends which are easily comprehensible. And I mean, even as a viewer watching this video right now, how easy is AI of a trend to comprehend. It's very simple. It's a buzzword. It's highly marketable. It has a lot of investment. We know AI is probably going into some sort of bubble territory in the near future. So it just makes a lot of sense. And that is why I tend to favor in my investments and my trading narratives, especially in a bull run when retail becomes more active in the market that retail can easily understand. And AI is one of them. Gaming's one of them. These sectors that are super approachable for retail. So what is my trading strategy with AI and what am I doing at the moment. Well, it's really broken down into two strategies. The first one is a more shorter term trading strategy. Now, this is something I've spoken about uh, extensively in the past, but pretty much whenever there's major news surrounding AI, these tokens become great proxies to trade. So especially at the moment with this major news on Wednesday, there is a lot of great long opportunities on AI coins. Now, I'm more so favoring the breakout longs over the shorts, just because I think that this narrative is explosive and could potentially push higher. So I'm definitely looking at short-term trading opportunities, uh, not only now, but also around major events in the future. They become pretty nice tokens to trade because they've been respecting technicals fairly well. And when they pump, they also pump the hardest out of any coin I've seen in the market. If you remember back to that AI run in 2023, it was insane. And we're seeing that repeating again right now. But then the second strategy I have to approaching AI is more of a longer term strategy. And we're going to cover both in this video where I like to position myself in the top sub sectors of AI, for example, infrastructure. So pick and shovel plays deep in, uh, which is decentralized private infrastructure networks that long term, I think, are going to be major beneficiaries of the growth of AI. So you kind of have these two strategies. You have using AI as proxies. So they might not even really be AI coins, but they're called or listed as AI coins. So they pump and they're great to trade. But then you also have long term fundamental infrastructure plays, which actually benefit from the growth of the sector as crypto and AI start to intersect more because let's be honest until now there aren't that many intersections so let's firstly start with what i'm seeing on the short-term trading side and let me then afterwards go into my longer term strategy for approaching the ai market so I've created my own AI watch list. I'm actually going to put this in the description below. It's going to be on TradingView uh, to enable you to just like have an easy way to monitor all the AI coins. But I also really like Corleone's AI watch list. He's pretty much categorized it into high market caps, mid market caps, and low market caps. 
All of these, in my opinion, are trading opportunities. As I said, in the shorter term, when you get these big announcements, when you get a lot of hype, these can perform super strongly. So you don't have to leverage trade necessarily. You can also spot trade. In fact, for a lot of people, that can be a great approach so you don't get liquidated uh, around these key events. So I do really like this list, but I'm going to point out a few specifics that I am currently looking at. And Lucky pointed out an interesting point on Twitter. He said, CT really trying to get this AI narrative going. Seems decent risk reward. You lose 10 to 20% or double slash triple your money. Probably a window of opportunity into NVIDIA earnings on Wednesday. Then if they're good, could see continuation. They're my general feelings. And I also kind of agree. When AI moves, it moves very explosively. And in my opinion, the longs are decent risk reward, especially if you kind of can play the rotation game a little bit. Although I'll give you my thoughts on that in a second. So let's just go through some of the coins that I'm looking at. I've got my watch list here on the right. I'm going to link this in the description for you. And I'm, I'm going to kind of explain what my strategy is, is for trading as well. Firstly, at the beginning of an AI run, and I believe we're probably either at the beginning or heading into that middle stage, the leaders tend to outperform. So what are the leaders? These are the biggest AI coins, the coins most synonymous with AI. So Render, FET, Agix, these, these AI coins that have, you know, that really strong narrative behind them. Typically in crypto, the leaders tend to be the best risk reward play as they tend to lead rallies and they tend to finish rallies as well. Um, so these are your best trading indicators following these larger AI coins. But as we start to see a blow off top in a run like AI, the last coins that move are typically your mid or low caps. So these are your slightly riskier coins that don't necessarily lead the run, but start to catch up to the leaders slightly later. So the way you play this really depends on where you think the AI trend is right now. For me, I still do enjoy longing the leaders like Render, like uh, WorldCoin, WLD, that's been a super strong performer, Ajax and FET. But I also right now do like NMR as a play, and I like P-A-A-L, PAL, as a play as well. This has been showing like insane strength. Um, and if you do look at the market caps of some of these coins, like PAL, and I'm not chilling this because I actually don't have an active position right now, so I'm completely unbiased uh, when it comes to this coin. A market cap of 255 is not crazy considering the amount of volume that is pouring into the crypto AI space. And even Tau has really defied the odds, right? If you told me like a few months ago um, that BitTensor would be $14 billion FDV, I would have laughed at you, but that's exactly what has happened. So the market caps that are assigned to these AI projects right now are super skewed and they can often go a lot higher than, than you think they can um, if, if you're approaching the market logically. And I, I made this point in yesterday's video in a bull market or in a bull trend for any given narrative, hype and speculation tends to outweigh the impact that fundamentals have. By far, the number one biggest fundamental driver behind a token and its hype is price. And when price is doing well, that's pretty much the only thing you need to look at. And that might sound super counterintuitive because fundamentals drive crypto, right? Well, kind of wrong in a bull market. Fundamentals often do take a back seat to hype and speculation. And that is certainly what we are seeing reflected across the AI market right now. So those are a few of the coins that I'm looking at. Heading back to my watch list now, I also have Ocean on my watch list. I have Zai on my watch list as well. I have AIOZ on my watch list. And these are all trading opportunities. So I'm not as interested in these as like really long-term DCAs right now. I think the time for long-term DCAing is over. Uh, you can see the levels that I marked as my clear breakouts. I've had these for months. I've shared them on my banter shows. So you should be significantly up if you were following my, my uh, calls on those shows. You can see I have my levels marked out for FET as well. And the way to trade these coins is either trading the breakout or trading the retest of these key horizontal levels. So FET, and this is what I was saying before, they're actually responding to uh, TA quite well, has basically respected these levels pretty clearly. Like you see this retest here, it breaks out, it flips that resistance into support, it deviates back down below, tests the lower range again, broke out, retested, gave you another opportunity to get in, broke out of this level, another opportunity to get in again, and then you can just move your stop loss up and up. So the TA on these AI coins has actually been super clean and it's been really a joy to trade uh, for that reason. So I would say the technical strategy right now is looking for breakouts. Um, so when AI coins go into price discovery and look at how these coins respond to the retests of their major horizontal levels. I'm not an expert technical analyst, but I have a decent success using this strategy and implementing it in the world of AI coins. So those are kind of my two approaches right now. But keep in mind that shorter term trading isn't for everyone and it does come with additional risks. So now what I want to do is 
go into more of my longer term approach. So obviously you can have fun trading this AI market in the short term, but if you want exposure to the growth of the sector, when the bubble really starts to grow bigger and bigger and bigger, obviously your best bet is, is to take a long term approach. So let's get into my long term approach now, um, because I think I'm actually slightly contrarian to a lot of people that are scooping up these AI coins. I have a bit of a different uh, approach to considering my long term AI investments. Oh, and by the way, if you do want to trade any AI coins, you'll need an exchange that actually has the listings for a lot of them. BitGet, from my experience, does have most of the listings. You can see FET, Adjix, uh, NMR, Xi, etc. So it does have most of the listings. Um, some of the bigger exchanges, like your Binance's, they don't necessarily have all the listings, but that's what I really like about BitGet. They've got the listings really quickly when tokens start to gain a, a decent amount of traction. So if you do want to trade and get access to all of these coins, I'll leave a link in the description to sign up for BitGet. If you use this link, you'll actually get access to a $1,000 welcome pack. So basically what this is, is once you sign up, head over to the reward center and you can claim your $1,000 welcome pack for signing up, doing identity verification, depositing and trading for the first time. The more tasks you complete, the more you work your way up to that $1,000 mark. So there's a link in the description below if you do want to trade on BitGet. If, for example, a coin that you really want to trade isn't listed because there are occasionally some small caps, especially um, some of these ones here that are lower in market cap, and you still want to trade these, you're probably going to need to use a DEX. Well, you are going to need to use a DEX. And your best bet is probably to go with an aggregator that basically gets the best price route for you across the AMMs that these are listed on because not every single DEX is going to have the same coins. Sometimes they're on Uniswap, sometimes they're on other chains. So the, your best bet's probably to use an aggregator like SmartX. We can essentially enter the contract address that you can get from CoinGecko or get from their official website and you can swap across Ethereum, across Arbitrum, Polygon, BNB, and Base. So SmartX will actually aggregate for you to give you the best price for your swaps in crypto so you're not uh, losing money versus using another deck. So those are the two options for you um, if you do want to trade these coins. Now let's get into my longer term strategy. So how do I view AI long term? Well, obviously, as the thumbnail of this video suggests, and as we've talked about in the first half of this video, I do believe that we are entering AI bubble territory. And I actually think this has a lot of room to get bigger and bigger and bigger as more and more investment gets poured in and more products begin to launch. For that reason, I think the AI sector has massive potential. But to this date, we haven't really seen crypto slash AI applications really come to fruition. The current use cases amongst the current crop of AI tokens are limited at best, and at most, they're using AI as a complete buzzword to act as an AI proxy. So a lot of the AI coins that you'll trade, and I'll admit a lot of the AI coins in my watch list, they aren't even really AI, okay? Maybe they use some sort of machine learning. Maybe they maybe they outsource some sort of AI tech. I mean, technically, anything could implement artificial intelligence. What makes a true AI coin is a coin that leverages the capabilities of AI that wouldn't be possible to create their product without it. And the infrastructure that benefits from the growth of the sector as it helps to power AI use cases and machine learning use cases. So if we actually try and take a pragmatic approach to break down how to invest in the AI sector, it really only leaves you with a couple of options. A, you can invest in AI protocols themselves. So these are individual dApps or applications that are built upon AI technology. Cool, we haven't really seen many use cases for it yet. Or B, you can invest in your pick and shovel plays, which are decentralized infrastructure bets that essentially power the growth of AI. So as AI scales, you're going to need these forms of infrastructure in order to power AI technology. And this is really, option B, my approach to approaching the AI market. Specifically, I'm looking at Deepin as one of the strongest verticals that has synergy with AI. Now, there are many synergies for AI and crypto, but the most logical one, in my opinion, is compute power and machine learning. So what Deepin does, essentially, is it decentralizes physical infrastructure to enable a decentralized community to build and maintain physical hardware. So they essentially get rewarded for providing GPU power to the network, and the network pays them back in exchange for their services. And if you think about the AI sector, right, it's really intensive in terms of the compute power that it needs to scale. So as the AI sector grows, its hunger and its demand for computing power where you're going to need GPUs just keeps increasing, increasing, increasing. And solutions that have the hardware to power this AI technology, 
I think these are really going to be the big winners from the long-term growth of AI. Now, keep in mind, this isn't a short-term play. These projects, okay, they may run based on hype, like render and a cache, but they probably won't kick into their full flywheels in the next one to two years. These are five to 10 year bets, but if you are taking a long-term bet on the growth of AI and crypto at the same time, I really don't see a better convergence than Deepin. Um, it can also help not just with compute power, but also providing specialized hardware for AI to operate to enable collaboration on the network and to essentially lower the cost of not only compute power, but data storage, which AI, especially machine learning models, um, are quite demanding of. So my strategy is looking more at the picks and shovels like Deepin. So in terms of my favorite Deepin protocols, let's just run through a few of them. Uh, some protocols of interest are a cache. So this is a super cloud that provides permissionless access to cloud resources. Obviously, this has been running recently. But if you do look at the FDV, 880 is not insane when you compare it to BitTensor, which is a decentralized protocol of subnets at the $14 billion range. So this has kind of set a precedent for this sector, right? So Akash is one that I'm looking at. You've also got Render, which is a very popular play in this sector. It's been performing really well lately. Once again, obeying really nice structure on the higher timeframes in terms of its price action. So those are a couple plays that I think longer term are probably good bets. But there's one that isn't released yet that I'm probably even more bullish on, and this is Aethia. It hasn't launched yet, but it's essentially powering cloud infrastructure for gaming and AI. Now, Aethia is very interesting because they actually have 20x more GPUs than render network, 45x more TFLOPs, which is essentially compute power than a cache network, and 31x more infrastructure capital committed than a cache network and render network combined. And the interesting thing is they're primarily focused on enterprise, so B2B solutions, so business to business solutions, rather than directly to the consumer like a lot of these other protocols. So I think it has a few distinct advantages that I'll probably get into in future content, but this hasn't launched yet. So there are a bunch of interesting deep in protocols which haven't launched yet, but have been building in the background for years. These are also interesting bets, I think, as the sector begins to expand. So Athea is definitely on my radar. There's going to be big announcements coming over the next few weeks and months uh, regarding that. And obviously, they've got their token on the way. Depending on the valuation it launches at, that could be an amazing opportunity if you can get in early. And I'll let you know how to do so when the time is right. A few others I'm interested in, ATOR protocol. This is essentially a scalable privacy middleware for Deepin and other crypto projects. They're actually launching their hardware soon. Uh, and their hardware is very interesting because it basically enables you, if you plug it in, to privatize your entire household. So your Wi-Fi, any devices that are utilizing that Wi-Fi, and basically encompass a, a full privacy solution. And at the same time, reward users for using the hardware in the form of ecosystem rewards. So kind of like the Helium model, um, but with, in my opinion, more of a practical use case for the average user because, I mean, privacy is a, a basic human right that can be facilitated via the network. So ATOR is another interesting one that I'm looking at. Um, they're obviously powering anonymity. And then there are also other plays in the sector, like, you know, your storage deep in plays like Filecoin and AR which also interests me, AR being Arweave. They've also been growing quite nicely. I think Filecoin probably has the better tokenomics, but AR has also shown uh, some traction as well. So it's one that also interests me. So Deepin for me is probably one of the more sure bets long-term in the AI sector, but I'm certainly not going to be fading individual AI protocols either. Like if a, if a project manages to launch with what I think is a novel or unique implementation of AI, I'm certainly interested. Uh, but for me, I'm more of an, an infrastructure guy. The picks and shovels um, can be, you know, super effective investments long-term because they have real tokenomics, which underpin the value of the network. Deepin actually has a very interesting network flywheel. And this is why long-term, I think it performs really, really well. And is probably one of crypto's strongest sectors, if not the biggest sector. It's because basically infrastructure growth attracts more demand from end users, leading to increased network activity. This leads to higher rewards, which incentivizes more supply side users. And then this flywheel effect uh, takes off where the token value contributes to the platform, the dApps on the platform, and basically incentivizes more end users to actually contribute to the network. And the flywheel goes around and around. And, and this is what I think makes D deep in long term super high upside. But look, in the short term, a lot of these AI proxies are still amazing trades. And that's why I did earlier talk about some of the trading opportunities that are currently on the market. Now, while we're on the subject of AI, I thought it would be a good time to mention WorkX, who are an official partner of the show. And they are essentially using AI to power decentralized 
job matching. Now they're redefining what the model looks like for job searching online, powering what they refer to as the internet of jobs. So essentially, if you want a job, right, whether that be in crypto, whether that be in another industry, you can go onto their platform, you can search the job industry. For example, let's say you want to um, get a job in the Web3 and blockchain industry, and you can see a bunch of jobs available. So you can see jobs in the 5k, 4k range, 3k range. So if you're looking for a job, this could actually be a decent website to check out. And if you're an entrepreneur, you can also hire talent on the website if you're a business owner. So that's really cool as well. Uh, and, th and they're using a really novel approach, actually one of the more innovative solutions to solving this problem um, of job matching online uh, by incorporating decentralization with the work token powering the network alongside AI to empower job matching. The work token is basically needed to create job postings, access AI services on the platform, um, development courses, and much more. And essentially there's a token buyback in place to enhance the tokenomics design or buy pressure um, for the overall token. So it's basically, you know, your ecosystem governance token that that powers the ecosystem and uses as a, a method of payment. So if you do want to check out WorkX, if you're interested in a job or if you just want to research it further, you can check it out in the link in the description. I want to thank them for being a sponsor of the show. So that is pretty much my AI show for now. I'm sure I'll do many more shows on AI in the future. It's a vertical I'm super interested in. It is in bubble territory, but that doesn't mean the bubble can't keep growing. And that's, I think, what people you know, were saying in 2021 about the metaverse and the gaming run. They're saying, oh, it's a bubble, oh, it's a bubble, oh, it's a bubble. But it kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And eventually it does burst, but you do have to sometimes just submit to the narrative and, and accept when uh, a narrative is looking super strong. And that's what the technicals and the fundamentals based on news are suggesting to us about AI. So if you did enjoy this video, make sure to smash the like button, subscribe for more content like this in the future. I'm coming at you with daily uploads, uh, which is a grind. I'm actually feeling a bit unwell today. You might be able to tell through my voice, but we're powering on. I'm drinking Red Bulls. Uh, I'm taking ibuprofen. And I'm, uh, and I'm powering out this content. Uh, I'll, I'll see you tomorrow then, I guess. I'm doing this thing every single day now to give you the best crypto alpha. Thank you to everyone for supporting. Views have been exploding. Subscribers have been exploding. Everything's been honestly just so insane since coming on this channel full time. So I can't thank you enough for supporting my journey. And hopefully I can support you in your endeavors in the market as well. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.